Hi everyone and welcome back to our next video. In the last video we talked about serial data communication. Serial data communication is being able to send data down one single wire. In other words we want to send bits of information down a wire from one computer to another. Now how do we know that we're sending a certain data bit or how do we know if we're sending the letter M or sending the letter O or sending the number 2 how do we know what that looks like well engineers have sat down and come up with something called the ASCII table the ASCII table is a universal standard that represents the bits that are created whenever you hit any key on a keyboard if your keyboard fails on your desktop computer and you go and buy another one and plug it in it behaves exactly the same way as the last one and that's because they all follow the ASCII code in other words no matter what character you hit on the keyboard it's going to produce a certain bit pattern if you will specifically if we take a look at this table here and you look for capital C you're gonna see that capital C is represented with decimal 67 so let's take a look at how this works so here is what it looks like when you're actually transmitting information down a single wire. We're going to look at one part of this first and then in a later video we'll take a look at another because there's a few things involved here. Let's just take a look at what happens when we hit one key on our keyboard. Specifically if we strike the letter capital C. Like we said if we look in the ASCII table you're going to see that it's represented by the decimal number 67. Well, as we know already, computers don't understand decimal numbers. They only understand binary numbers. So what we need to do is convert this decimal number to a binary number. So take a look here. We've got a seven bit number here. This is the ones position, the twos, the fours, eights, 16, 32, and 64. If you remember how we do this, we start with the number we want to convert, which is 67, and we say, does 64 fit in to 67? Yes, it does. So we put a 1 here, we put 64 here, and we subtract. The next thing is we say, does 32 fit into 3? No, if it doesn't, we put a 0. Does 16 fit into 3? No, it doesn't. Put a 0. Does 8 fit into 3? Nope. Does 4 fit into 3? No, it doesn't. But 2 does. So 2 goes in, so we'll put a 1 here, and then we subtract. So subtract, and we get 1. And then we say, well, does 1 fit into 1? Yes, it does. Goes in. And when we subtract, there is 0 remainder. So what we've come up with is the binary number, specifically a 7-bit binary number that represents the letter capital C. If we had capital D, it would be a different binary number. If we hit the percent sign, that's a different binary number. Every keystroke has its own unique bit pattern, and that's what we're showing here. Now, when we go to transmit down a wire, what we do is we transmit the least significant bit first. So let's go in and fill in what we're going to send down a wire. So the least significant bit is a 1. This next one here is also a 1. And then we go to the 4's position next, that's a 0. We go to the 8's position next, that's a 0. We go to the 16's position, that's a 0. We go to the 32's position, that's a 0. And we go to the 64 position, that's a 1. That's our most significant bit. So there. There is the binary number that represents the letter capital C. So that's the first part of how we're going to do this. 
in the next part we're going to take a look at something called stop bits and start bits and parity bits and we'll figure out how that works in serial data communication that's it for this video thanks for watching see you next time